Hello everyone, it's Lil, and there are tons of new stuff concerning Cure Earth, Asumi, and we have new pictures, and we also have her voice actor. So let's check them all out. Uh, those pictures leaked on the internet today, and uh, while we still don't have the websites officially updated, uh, we have the pictures. And when the websites are updated, we're probably going to have something more on Asumi, maybe a character profile with her surname that we still don't know, and other stuff like the interview with her voice actor and things like that. So let's check out the, the new images we have. So we have this first image here, which looks all, all, oh God, I, I just can't. Like we have Asumi down here and like for the first time we see her with her hair down. Like all the times we saw her, she had her hair uh, up and now she, we have her hair down. She is like trying some new stuff, like trying some new clothes. And this really makes me think of her as someone who comes from the past and is, you know, getting onto the new trends and learning about this new world. That's what I believe what is going to happen with her. Because, I mean, look at this picture. I That's what I think, at least. So uh, in here we can see Nodoka giving her the, the green dress that she's probably going to wear in the season, as we already saw before. And the girls playing with her, lots of costumes and the mascots as well. This is really adorable. And she also has this pendant here that I think is going to be important. And we can talk a little bit about that a little later. I just find this picture really, really beautiful. I just find it adorable. And, you know, visually speaking, I think that, uh, you know, Healing Good is going to bring it in this second half because girl this is amazing and now we have a picture of the four girls let me hide myself a little bit how do i do this here okay so uh in this picture we can see the four healing good girls together and we can see the harp for the first time i am so happy because it's an actual harp and it's beautiful and it's so, so, so beautiful. We can see that it up here is the place where she can uh, probably put the bottles that she's going to use in the season. And I don't know, I just find her extremely, extremely beautiful. Her harp is also very beautiful as well. I'm just in love with everything concerning her. And I think like we're going to have lots of new merchandise uh, and they're going to be beautiful. But mostly I think that her in the season, you know, her transformation, her attack, everything is going to be something else. You know, everything is going to be something else and it's going to be on a whole another level for sure. Uh, we also have this picture. We can we see the her three form, her two forms here. Uh, we see Cure Earth and we see Asumi. And, you know, if you look at her pendant that she wears in her uh, civilian form, this is probably what she uses to tie her hair in her transformation. We can't see here uh, because obviously she's in front, but if you look at her picture, uh, pictures of her in her in the back of her hair, it seems that the pendant is in her hair, you know? So I think that this, is, this pendant is going to play some sort of part into her identity and also into her transformation. Asumi's looks like she looks very sleepy here, but I think that what they want to convey is this calm and, you know, wise type of person. That's what I believe that she's going to be. And in here we can also see her voice actor, which is going to be Suzuko Mimuri. And, you know, Suzuko Mimuri is a big, big name in voice acting in general. And, you know, we're going to check out some of her voice acting here starting with this queen this is one of the most important roles i think that she did which is kisaragi honey if you don't know who she is she is she transforms into cutie honey cutie honey is one of the most legendary and iconic magical girls even though like there's a lot of fan service in cutie honey it's not for kids but she is one of the most legendary magical girls that started all of this that we have today and uh, we had an anime some years ago called Cutie Honey Universe, and it's the most recent anime adaptation of Cutie Honey, and she played Kisaragi Honey, the main character from, um, from this, you know, legendary historical show. Uh, she also played one of my favorite characters from Danganronpa, 
who is Hyoko Sayonji. I really liked her, even though, you know, <laughs> uh, she also played this character. Very, very beautiful. And I just love the visuals of this one. Uh, she also played uh, Nanami, the main character from Kamisama Hajime Mashita, which is uh, an anime adaptation of the manga, of a shoujo manga of the same name, which is a very nice story, by the way. I really like it. She also plays uh, Shiratori Undu from Kirato Prichan. And honestly, if I have to give my opinion, I believe that this is what peak character design looks like. Peak character design. I love the design of this character. I really, really love the design of this character. I think that she is incredible. In, in, incredible. She also plays Sonoda Umi, uh, one of the main characters from Love Live. She is part of the, the idol group Muse from Love Live. I mean, big, big, big character as well. And also, talking about Magical Girls, she also played um, Togo Mimuri from Yuki Yuna wa Yusha de Aru, one of the main characters from Yuki Yuna as well. Um, if you haven't seen Yuki Yuna, it's very tragic, it's very sad, but it's also very, very good. And if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. You know, Suzuko Mimuri is a big VA. She, played, she, she played lots and lots of characters. If you watch anime, you've probably watched something that she is in because she's very versatile. We can see that she plays like... Uh, Shoujo character, characters from shoujo anime, characters from idol anime, and from shonen anime. You know, she plays it all. She is very versatile with her work, and she. Is, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's going to be incredible as Cure Earth. Because, you know, let's just say this. All the stops are pulled for the debut of Cure Earth now. And I don't know if you've seen, but today, uh, today is uh, June 19th. And today, Toy updated uh, their Twitter accounts by saying that their anime are going to return on June 28. They haven't stated that Precure is returning on this date. They have stated Digimon is, One Piece is. And no word on Precure so far. But based on the fact that we're going to have episode 12 uh, this weekend, it's kind of clear to say that it's going to return in June 28 as well. And honestly, with all of the release of Cure Earth merchandise and Cure Earth information that should have been up more or less for now for her actual debut in the season itself, makes me wonder what they're going to do with the episodes. Are they going to skip some episodes to make Cure Earth debut faster? Or are they going to keep on doing it regularly as uh, we expect them to do? Because, like, they're not going to throw away episodes they already did, they already worked on, because, you know, anime episodes are expensive as hell to make. Like, one episode is expensive as hell. So they're not probably not going to, uh, not going to air them for some reason. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure they're betting their coins on Cure Earth. And her debut and her and the whole thing about her um, identity and her story because her merchandise is coming out as well. And I'm pretty sure that they're going to pull all the stops to make it work because Cure Earth is like this big, beautiful character. I'm pretty sure that they know everybody, including us, are going to love her. You know, Cure Earth is she she is just incredible. She is incredible and she's beautiful and she's stunning. I'm in love with her harp. I'm in love with her harp. Just look at this. This is really, really something else. And honestly, I, I'm, I'm hoping for the return of Healing Good. I'm hoping for the return of uh, the whole thing in episode 13. And we're going to see every all of the episodes not skipping anyone. Because I'm liking how Healing Good is dealing with things so far. Very lighthearted. And we need that. Let's be honest. We need something like lighthearted for the heavy days that we're living in. But, you know, I'm also very excited for Cure Earth. Also, uh, looking at those pictures, I believe that um, it's not clear to say, but I believe now I'm starting to believe in the theory that Cure Earth and Asumi is actually the statue. And she is going to come back to our own time nowadays. Uh, like, it's not going to be a new person coming out of nowhere uh inheriting the statue the statue's power as i thought she would now 
judging by those pictures, I judging by this picture most specifically, I believe that she is going to be the statue herself. The statue is going to be unstoned and she is going to become Cure Earth. Like she she's going to return to her uh, human form, Asumi, and she's going to regain her powers as Cure Earth, but not with Tiatinu, now with Latte. Why? I don't know. Maybe Tiatinu is going to have to give her powers or maybe she's going to have to be on the healing garden to protect it so she won't be able to fight with Asumi. And so Asumi, you know, if you look at this picture and the dress she's wearing, you know, this really, uh, it has the same color as the statue. It has the same format as the dress the statue is wearing. So she's probably the statue, you know, I don't know, like with the hair down like this, the same way the hair of the statue goes down. Mm. We'll see. We will see. But, you know, so far, so good. I think that we have great information on her. The great visuals that, uh, that this season is bringing us with Cure Earth. Come on. This is amazing. And, you know, I'm just in love with her. I am just in love with everything that we have so far. And I really believe that she is going to be an amazing addition to Healing Good Precure and to the Precure franchise in general. Anyways, guys, I just want to take this little time to thank everybody that supports the Magical Cinnamon channel. Thank you so much for believing in me. And if you've seen everything up until now, thank you so much as well. Please leave a like, a comment with your takes, your opinions on the new images, on her voice actor, and also your theories. Do you, do you also believe that she is going to be um, the statue or do you have an, any other ideas? Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye-bye.